Hello wrestling fans, welcome to another episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic, right here on Spreaker and anywhere you can find podcasts. Today is November 22nd, it is Monday, we're about a little less than an hour and a half to WWE Monday Night Raw and on tonight's episode we will be talking about from this past Saturday night Impact Wrestling Turning Point and last night WWE Survivor Series thank you for tuning in and let's get into it Right now, start off tonight's episode. Like I mentioned, last Saturday night, the monthly Impact Plus special from Impact Wrestling, Turning Point. First on the pre-show, the first time we've had a pre-show for one of the Impact Plus specials, but also this was the first live one they've had. And the match was for the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Championship. Chelsea Green challenging against Jordan Grace. And we see Grace successfully defend her championship against Chelsea Green here. Next up, Chris Sabin. Defeats Ace Austin in a really good match. Tag team action is up next on Turning Point. Violent by Design takes on Heath and Rhino. Eric Young pins Rhino in this one after using his mask as a weapon. VSK defeats Rich Swan. W. Morrissey versus Matt Cardona. Morrissey gets the win. And then after, Cardona is attacked by Moose. The Impact Wrestling Knockouts Tag Team Championships are now on the line. Decay, the former champions, getting their rematch from Bound for Glory as they challenge... The Inspiration. And we see the Inspiration retain in this one as Jesse McKay pins Havoc with her feet on the ropes. Not a bad match at all here. The Impact Wrestling X Division Championship. Up next, a three-way match. Trey Miguel, Laredo Kid, and Steve Macklin. Trey Miguel Pencil Laredo Kid to retain. The Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship match is up next. And we see Mickey James defeat Mercedes Martinez. And then after the match, the Knockouts Champion. Mickey James is attacked by Deanna Perazzo. The Impact Wrestling Knockout or World Tag Team Championships are on the line next. The Bullet Club taking on the Good Brothers. And we see Carl Anderson pin Chris Bay. With a handful of tights. And. Still. Impact Wrestling. World Tag Team Champions. The Good Brothers. Zach Gallows. And Carl Anderson. I thought this one was a pretty good. Match here. Not bad at all. That's for sure. Thought the um, Chris Bay 
was very impressive in this one, to be honest. I've been impressed with Chris Bay for quite a while. His Impact Wrestling run, of course, and then uh, the go back. The first time I saw him was Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, which he was very impressive there as well. And I just want to say, um, start real quick. Um, the venue, I forgot to mention, (coughs) Sam's Town in Las Vegas, very good, Impact has been there quite a bit. And also, the commentators, Matt Stryker and D'Lo Brown. And now, it is time for the main event of the evening for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. And it is a full metal mayhem match. As Moose challenges Eddie Edwards in this one. This one was an awesome match, to be honest. And if you definitely need to check this match out if you did not see it. Fantastic. In the end, it is still Impact Wrestling World Champion Moose. As he defeats Eddie Edwards. So overall. Very good show. From Impact Wrestling as usual. These Impact Plus specials. If for some reason you missed it. You can check it out by subscribing. To Impact Plus. And on Fight TV. The Fight app. You can order the show by itself as a standalone uh, pay-per-view, I guess you could call it. And then, Sunday night, we have the WWE Survivor Series. On the kickoff, Shinsuke Nakamura defeats Damian Priest via disqualification, which we see a heel turn. Rick Boogs ringside playing the guitar. As usual. And then this upsets Priest as he goes out to the floor, attacks Boogs, and then breaks the guitar in half. And then also hits Nakamura with the other part of the guitar. And time for the main pay per view card. We start off, I was surprised, to be honest, with the women's Raw vs. SmackDown uh, champion vs. champion match. Becky Lynch taking on Charlotte Flair. Of course, I'm sure everybody has heard about the news with the whole behind-the-scenes drama with these two. Uh, This one was a very good match, though. Becky Lynch getting the win, 17 minutes, 55 seconds. And then now we move on to the men's Survivor Series match. Raw vs. SmackDown. We start off, uh, Kevin Owens is eliminated. Happy Corbin, Xavier Woods, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley are double counted out. So, of course, both eliminated. Finn Balor is eliminated now, and Sheamus, and Austin Theory, and it is down to the final two, Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy. And as Seth Rollins gained the victory for Monday Night Raw and becoming the sole survivor of this match, and next up is a 25-man battle royal to celebrate the 25th anniversary of The Rock's WWF debut as Rocky Maivia at the 1997 Survivor Series. 
And it is Omas getting the win in this one with an impressive 12 eliminations. And there is an impressive spot, actually. Uh, AJ Styles about to be the eliminated Commander Aziz holding on to his arms and then Omas grabs his legs. But then Apollo Crews bumps Omas and then he drops AJ Styles to the floor. But then, of course, Omas goes on to win the Battle Royal. Now it's time for the Tag Team Champion versus Champion match. RK Bro, Randy Orton, and Riddle taking on the Usos. We see Orton hit Jay Uso with an RKO out of nowhere as Uso was coming from the top rope to get the win for his team. 14 minutes, 45 seconds. The Women's Survivor Series, Classic Survivor Series match is up next. And Bianca Belair is the sole survivor coming coming back from being down 4-1. to one. Very impressive there. The main event of the evening, the WWE Champion vs. Universal Champion match, Big E vs. Roman Reigns. This one I thought was a very good match, to be honest. Big E, very impressive, but it is Roman Reigns getting the win. And even though it was a losing effort, I would say Big E was definitely not hurt by the sauce, though. He looked very impressive against Roman. And he worked a great match. And the so far, er, that was the Survivor Series. And I thought it was an okay show. Like I just said, the main event, Big E and Roman Reigns was very good. And I wouldn't say nothing real bad on the show, but... Nothing real great either, though. So, definitely worth checking out anyway. I thought it was at least average anyway. Definitely not bad. So, that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hope to be back soon. We have Thanksgiving coming up this week on Thursday. And as I mentioned at the top of the podcast... Monday Night Raw tonight. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a... uh, Should I do a podcast about Raw tomorrow? An episode. Uh, If you're listening to this episode now, leave an email, 360wrestlingpodcast at gmail.com or on the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, 360wrestlingpodcast. And say you want me to do an episode about Raw tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, anything, you can email at 360wrestlingpodcast at gmail.com. But until the next episode, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.